how can we post authentically on social media instead of what I think a lot of people do is to post to get attention, right? And it's such a dangerous thing because when we post without the awareness of what's happening within ourselves, are we posting to get validation and attention? Or are we posting alternatively? This is what I would recommend. Posting because we are genuinely trying to explore something that's important to us. We are genuinely working through and sharing some important experience to us that might as a byproduct, be beneficial or interesting for somebody else. But we're not posting to be interesting for somebody else. We're posting because we are public journaling. We are exploring our own experiences in a way that is important to us, that we're trying different things. So that's really how I post on social media. That's how I really recommend that you post on social media. So the first thing that I do is not to just jump on and and, and post whether I'm writing something or I'm making a video, the first thing I do is to connect with my deepest source of well-being, my infinite source of worth. So let me ask you, if you never got a single like on social media, are you still a worthwhile person? Of course. But if we don't realize that we often attach our sense of worth or excitement or well-being to whether we're getting likes or comments on our social media. If we aren't aware of that, then we don't do the practice of grounding ourselves before we go and post on social media. So that's really the first step that I do is do some what I call energy energy reboot. You can go to Google and search energy reboot George Cow and you'll find my article on that. So that's what I do. It takes me a few seconds to do it. And once I do that, Then I come onto social media, whether I'm writing or whether I'm sharing, and I'm doing it because, like I said, I'm practicing exploring my authentic voice. I'm not doing it so that somehow I'll get more clients or that I will get some more attention from my business or or for myself, whatever. I'm doing it to explore my authentic voice in kind of unpacking the experiences of my life or experiences of my business or experiences of my clients or whatever it may be. So if we do it in this way, then the, like I said, any attention we get is a byproduct. Any, any benefit we get for our business is a byproduct. I know it might sound strange coming from a marketing consultant, a business coach to be telling you to be posting that any kind of benefit you get for your business is a byproduct of posting on social media, why that's so important is because if you post to get clients, if you post to get attention, you give away your power. When you post to get the interaction and engagement from other people, you give away your power. Instead, if you post to share something that's important to you, no matter if you get any attention, you maintain your authentic power because you realize, oh, I'm, I'm speaking and I'm writing because it's important to me. It's important to me to do this, right? So once we do the grounding exercise, and I have to close the door, the window here. Once we do the grounding exercise of reconnecting with our infinite worth and well-being, number one. Number two, we post, we, we create based on an exploration of an an important aspect of us, all right? Step two. Step three, once we post it, right, go and do something else. Don't wait to see, gosh, who was the first person who liked it? Don't check after five minutes or 10 minutes or even an hour if you can. The longer you can wait to check whether there was any engagement, the more you maintain healthy boundaries and the more you reinforce your authentic power. So whenever I check for stats, right, what I'm doing is I'm checking to see if this piece of content, how did it do compared to my other pieces of content? Not, ooh, I'm such a worthwhile person or I'm so excited that I got these. No, I'm checking in comparison to my other pieces of content because I want to know what actually is making an impact on other people. 
And that just lets me know, oh, okay, so in the future, I should continue exploring this topic or I should continue trying out this format because it seems to be helpful for others, not just to myself. And that's really what we're trying to find is what is what is something that's authentic to us that happens to be helpful for other people? That's wonderful. If it is, that's great. And that's what we want to continue doing. So I hope this happens to impact you in some way. But either way, I'm grateful to be able to share this. I mean, social media is like a constant um, uh, uh, kind of a public journaling opportunity for us. I think of it as public journaling, right? So um, if, if you don't know who I am, I'm George Cow, authentic business coach. I love talking about building business in a way that where we can really tap into our authentic expression, doing something that's really meaningful for us and happens to be beneficial and valuable for others as well. So anyway, I hope to see you in a future video. And um, thank you always for the kindness that you show me. Um, those, you know, whenever I see comments, and this, I'll end with this. When I see comments on social media that are kind, I don't go, gosh, I'm a, I must be a good person or I must, I must have looked good that day or I must have been smart that day because, again, that gives away our authentic power. When I see kind comments, and I recommend that you do the same when you see your kind comments, you say, wow, that person is so kind. How generous of them. Even if I, whether or not I deserve it, I don't care, but how generous of that, you know, those people, right? So that's how we look at comments so that we don't give away our power. We just, we praise other people. We don't praise ourselves because we are already infinitely worthy of praise, compliments, appreciation because of who we are, just as a per human being. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Take care.